Hey everybody, it's Scott Mitchell here with In Motion Hosting and welcome to another edition of Community Q&A. Now this week's question comes from Tony and he says, I just signed up for my account and I'm looking for the best way to log into my dashboard. Well Tony, the dashboard is also called the admin area or the cPanel admin area. So this week we're going to go over the basics of how to log into that area. Okay, so getting to the cPanel itself isn't terribly difficult logging in. But there are several ways to get there. So we're going to go over the different ways here. The first method is the account management panel method, or also called the AMP or the AMP. This area is where you log into the account management panel and then we'll have a direct link over to your cPanel. Now the AMP area is not an area you want to give someone that you have a little shaky trust on. It's specifically meant for mostly the account owner or someone very, very close to the account owner like a family member. The reason being is the account manager panel area has a lot more information going on. It has all your billing information, all your credit card information, all other accounts that you may be working with. And anybody that accesses the AMP will have access to the information. So the AMP has its own login, which we're going to show here in a second. Only use that if the person you're working with is really trustworthy. Okay? But what you want to do is you go to secure1.inmotionhosting.com and this brings you to the account management panel login page. From there you're going to use the primary email address on the account as the username and then the AMP, the AMP password. This is not the cPanel password and you do not use the cPanel username. This is in the email address login and the AMP password. Okay. Uh, below that you have this little game you have to finish and it starts off with an X, you know, somewhere and you got to make it three X's in a row. You know, just like tic-tac-toe, it could be up and down, it could be sideways, it could be diagonal, however it's designed, but you want the three in a row. Once you get that, you click login. Now this is not my email address, so I'm going to show you what it looks like when you log in. You're going to go to the main AMP page. You will have different sections for each account that is on this AMP, this account management panel, because you can have more than one hosting account attached to it. Scroll down until you find your particular one. Most of the time, there's only going to be one. But if you have more, just make sure you're looking at the right one. You're going to go down there and find it. Okay, click on the cPanel login button here, or cPanel button, and it takes you to the login. Okay, it'll go straight over into the cPanel. If for some reason it doesn't, it's going to have a nice little login box where it has a cPanel username field and then the password field. Just fill in the cPanel username and the password there, and it should go ahead and log you back in, just like this. Okay, so that's the first method. Again, the AMP method, the AMP method is only for use for the account owner or someone highly trustworthy with the account owner. Don't use it just to give it to your developer, don't do that. Or if you're working with multiple partners, you might want to yeah, keep each individual one separate. So you're going to use one of these other methods I'm getting ready to talk about. The first method is just the domain name, and then you add slash cPanel afterwards. Okay, in this case, customercommunityimh.com slash cPanel brings up the cPanel login, I put my cPanel username in, my cPanel password in, click login, takes you right to the cPanel. Okay, so again, domain name slash cPanel. The second method using the domain name is the proxy, okay, cPanel dot domain name. Okay, now cPanel dot domain name, again, has the same kind of cPanel look here, cPanel username, cPanel password. Okay, I'm using uh, a modification to my domain name up here on my server, so that's why I see this thing up here. This is this should not show on yours. It does for me because I'm kind of going around uh, a method here. But cPanel.customercommunityimh.com, I use the cPanel username, cPanel password will take me straight in. And then the last method is useful, particularly if you haven't created or pointed your domain name to our servers yet. If your domain name is pointed to another server, say you, you know, you're getting ready to move over here, you have your website somewhere else, and you need to get in here and do some cleanup, some housekeeping, maybe you're bringing the site over, you need to log into the cPanel to do so, your developer needs to log into the cPanel to do so, you're gonna use this other method here. The last method is the server name, okay? ecbiz147.inmotionhosting.com slash cPanel. Now that's my server name. Okay, that's the server name for this particular account per se. Yours may be different. It may be easybiz123. 
it may be a completely different uh, number, but most of it's going to be the same. The thing that will change will be the first area here. Okay? You either have a biz and then a number, or EC biz and then a number. Okay? Whatever it is, use that slash cPanel. Okay? This brings you again, the same cPanel login. Use cPanel username here, cPanel password there, brings you over to the cPanel. And that's how to log into cPanel. Well guys, that's it for another edition of Community Q&A. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to like it and subscribe to the YouTube channel below. Also, don't forget to leave any questions you have in the comment section so we know what to bring you in future episodes. Thanks and have a great day. Do you know the InMotion Hosting Support Center has thousands of articles, pictures, and video tutorials to help you out with your web hosting questions? It's something for everyone, from beginners to experts. Join our community and sign up with your Facebook or Google Plus for free swag, prizes, and discounts. Visit our support center at InMotionHosting.com support.